Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating three new fall home decor DIYs featuring $1 items from the Dollar Tree and Walmart. Now these pieces take a non-traditional kind of neutral approach to fall, but they're so easy to customize for your home. Now I'll be showing you detailed steps on how to create all of these items and for your convenience, I provided the list of supplies and tools used to make these projects in the description box below. Now I'm so happy to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my awesome subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share. So now let's jump right into the projects. Now the first project will be a set of pumpkin topiaries. Now for this project, we'll need two of these 98 cent pumpkin picks from Walmart. I'll also need some snippets of eucalyptus I got from Walmart. And also two of these candle holders from the Dollar Tree. Now we are going to be painting our pumpkins, so we're gonna start by removing all of the tags and make sure your work surface is nice and protected. Now I wanted my colors to be mint green, so I mixed some of this Caribbean blue and some green together along with some white to get this mint color. I also wanted coral orange, so I mixed some harvest orange with some white to get this color. Now the first thing you do want to do is to paint all three pumpkins with this white acrylic paint, and this will act as a primer for all your other colors. And then once all painted, repeat it on the other piece. So once it's dry, we can start adding our color. Now we're gonna start with the green and we're gonna apply a coat to the bottom pumpkin. And then repeat that on the second one. And then we can apply our orange color and we'll do this on the top pumpkin. Now our center pumpkin will remain white, so just apply a second coat of that white acrylic on the center pumpkin. And once these are dry, we're just going to start to add a light white wash distressing type to the pumpkin. So you just wanna dab your chip brush into the paint, tap it off for a mostly dry brush, and then when you paint it on your pumpkins, you could just lightly dab it on the pumpkins and then follow up with a moist paper towel to wash that color in. And here are both pieces completed and dry. So now we can grab our candle holders. Now we can go ahead and remove those sticks from the bottom of our pumpkins. And now we can take our pumpkins and adhere them to the top of the candle holders. And we could do this with hot glue. Now once that's all done, we can embellish them with some greenery. Now I'm gonna be using some clippings from a eucalyptus branch I got from Walmart. All I'm doing here is I'm gonna cut off all the bulky ends and then we can start to apply them around the base of the pumpkins. Now all you wanna do is just apply some hot glue around the bottom, around the edge, and you just wanna make sure when you are applying these stems, you wanna overlap the ends as you apply them around the pumpkin. And now you can repeat that on the other piece. So now that both pieces are done, you can finish off with a bow. And I'm just gonna use some that I made from a scrap piece of fabric. So all we're gonna do here is just cut a piece um, that's long enough around to tie around the base. And then I'm gonna just tie a bow in each one and then your piece is done. You just clip your ends, make sure it's nice and even, and you wanna make sure you repeat this on the other piece and your piece, pieces are done. And here are those pumpkin topiaries on display. Now I think that these are so adorable. Now I love these colors and it still allows you to celebrate the end of summer and roll right into fall. 
And then accenting the piece with a bow and the greenery really makes this brighten the space. Now, I hope you all have as much fun customizing these as I did. Now, project number two will be an enamel tray candle centerpiece. Now, for this project, you'll need one cake pan from the Dollar Tree. You'll need um, one of these three-pack clip pumpkins from the Dollar Tree, some lamb's ear from Walmart that was a dollar a stem, and two of these candle holders from the Dollar Tree. So we're going to start by applying two coats of this Krylon Satin White spray paint to the cake pan. Now, once that dries, we can add our enamel accent. Now I will be using this black acrylic paint to do this. So we're gonna be applying the paint around the edge in a random pattern, and then we want this to completely dry. Now I'm just gonna do around my edge. You can sure enough do the inside or around the outside if you like, but since the edge will be standing out the most, I thought doing it around the edge was simplistic but beautiful. So now that it's dry, I decided to add some feet to my tray. So I grabbed four of these thick wood slices that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Now you can choose these as well. Just make sure that they are all about the same height and that they are completely flat. And then you just hot glue those into place. So now that that's done, we can start to decorate our tray. So I am just going to start decorating by taking that lamb ear and kind of curving it uh, so it'll fit inside of the tray. And I'm gonna do this with about three or four stems. Now one of my candle holders will sit higher than the other and I have this little mini stand that I made a while back from Jingle Blocks. Um, and I have this one with two blocks high and one with one block high, so they're good to use. So you're gonna add that stand in, you're gonna add one of your candle holders in there. And then you can add your candle holder on top of the stand and add your, add your candles. So now that they're in place, you could start to embellish with your decoration. And you can start to add your pumpkins. Um, I have a fabric covered pumpkin here that I did with the Dollar Tree item. Your clip on pumpkins. You can add berries, you can add pine cones. Just do whatever you like. Remember, you can add anything you like to customize for your space. And here's this cute little tray all decked out for our fall decor. Now I think this would be so beautiful as a table centerpiece. And these wood slices really add a unique touch to this tray too. Now I am sure wherever you plan to use this, it would definitely make a statement. Now project number three will be a fall beaded pumpkin sign. Now we will need one of these football signs from the Dollar Tree. We'll also need one of these happy fall scarecrow signs from Dollar Tree. And we'll need some wood beads. Now I'm gonna start with taking that fall sign and I wanna go ahead and remove the hanger and the staples from the back. And then remove that happy fall sign from the front. Now we will be painting the back of this sign, so go ahead and protect your work surface. And we will be using this white chalk paint to paint the back. Now I'm just going to be applying one nice coat to the back of the sign. And then sit it to the side to completely dry. So while that dries, I'm gonna take that football sign and I'm going to remove just the three pumpkins from this sign. And then once they are removed, I'm gonna apply a coat of chalk paint to the back of each one of those pumpkins. So now that they are dry, we can start to apply our color. So like our topiaries, I'm gonna add a mint green to one of our pumpkins. And 
And then I'm going to add that light orange color to another one of the pumpkins. Now one of our pumpkins will remain white, so I'm just going to cover it with a coat of white acrylic paint. So we have the stems of the pumpkin poking out, so I'm just going to use a dark brown color and I'm going to paint the stem of each of the pumpkin this dark brown chocolate color. Alright, so now we can work on our beads. Now these are 16 millimeter wood beads that I easily cut in half with a pair of wire color. Uh, cutters. I made a short demo on this and I'll link it up in the top right hand corner of this video and also in the description box below. Now I'm just going to be using some hot glue to apply these beads all around each of the pumpkins. And here are all of my three pumpkins with the beads. Now since we're spelling out the word fall, I will need one more pumpkin. So I'm gonna take a scrap piece of foam board and what I'm gonna do is trace one of those pumpkin shapes onto it. And then I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I wanna cut that pumpkin shape out. So now I'm taking a scrap piece of checkered fabric and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply hot glue to my pumpkin and, and I'm going to press it onto the fabric. And then I'm going to trim off the excess. So now we can go ahead and apply the beads around this pumpkin as well. Now for the letters, I printed out the word fall using the Cooper black font in the size 300 and I'm going to be using this black foam sheet to copy the letters to. So I'm just going to tape my letter to that black foam sheet and then I'm just going to cut it out. Now you want to repeat this for all of your letters. Now then, so once all the letters are cut out in place, we can adhere them with hot glue. Now for the letter A, I outlined it with this chalk pen so it would stand out better against the buffalo check print. So now we can grab our painted sign and prepare it for our pumpkins. Now I will be placing lines on the painted side so I'm marking their placement along the edge. And then I'm going to take something with a straight edge and I want to mark lines across the front where we will be drawing them. And then I'm just going to line it up and I want to make those lines um, right across the front of the board. Now to make those lines look a little more natural, I'm going to use some white acrylic paint to dry brush it over the lines and blend them in. Now I also have a little bit of pavement gray on the palette as well and I'm going to mix that in with the white and I'm going to use this to distress a bit around the edges and along the lines. Now I'm using a piece of cardstock here to distress along the lines and it gives it a nice crisp appearance. And now once that dries, we can start to add our pumpkins. So I'm just gonna lay them out on the board, making sure they're nice and evenly placed.
And now to secure them, we're just going to apply hot glue to the back of each pumpkin. And here they all are in place. Now to hang this, I'm just going to tie a knot into each end of a piece of jute twine. And what I'm going to do is I am going to secure this on the back. Now I'm just going to apply a generous amount of hot glue on the top of each one of those knots to secure it into place. And then you can add a bow on top if you like and you can hang your sign up for display. How cute is this? Now these beaded pumpkins are so cute on this sign, but they come together so quickly and easily. And I really love this one covered in fabric too. Now these projects today, they were all super fun. I hope you enjoyed them. You guys have to let me know in the comments which one was your favorite today. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. Now, if you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you are subscribed and click that subscribe button below and turn on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all next time.